Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice. If you're new here, thank you very much for stopping by. And if you've not watched my previous video, please do well to also watch the previous video. Please, this is me begging. Please subscribe, please share with your friend, please like, please comment. And uh, it kind of gives it helps give me ginger to actually make a video. Like when you're making a video and you're not seeing people interacting with the video, it's kind of sad. Yeah sad you're like oh why why even stress myself make a video why even take time out to, and make a video so please this is me begging please like subscribe share with your friend help increase this community like let's go 500 1k is possible so in uh, i think i don't know the way the videos are coming out right now but in one of my videos i actually said i was going to do a whole video on why i chose msc biomedical science I've done this video before somehow somehow technical difficulties came and i am redoing it i said no this video must come out but anyway today i'm going to be discussing things i considered and what made me choose msc biomedical science at the school i'm currently in so um let's get right into it right yep no time to waste um so my very first reason was i prayed about it and i i prayed about it like as much as there were other valid reasons if i didn't get a confirmation in my spirit if i was restless about it trust me i would not have chosen before i eventually chose where i am at i had already like reason wise or with my reasoning and with my understanding and what i wanted i already had a choice like totally different from here i already had a choice at at picked a different course in a different school in a different location but I was so restless about it. I didn't have peace of mind. It, I was just bothered at every point in time. I prayed about it. Like I literally had to disconnect. I had, I think I've mentioned in my previous video. I had a couple of choices. I had about six schools that actually gave me admission. Three, two different courses. So three schools gave me admission in one course. Three schools gave me admission in another course. Well, the first one was MSc Medical Microbiology, which by all reasoning I should have gone for. And the second order three was MSc Biomedical Science. Like I really just took time out, disconnected and prayed about it and I got the confirmation in my spirit. And trust me, from the day I made that decision um, till now, I have not regretted at any single point. Trust me, there have been no regrets. And like, not one survivor said, oh, I wish I didn't choose this school. There have been no regrets so far and I'm super grateful about it. So prayer was very important for me because it was like, what sealed the other reason was like the seal that it was like my confirmation that okay yes this is the school so my number two reason was i wanted to give myself an opportunity to learn and relearn again so i did medical microbiology as a specialty for my undergrad and i felt that a lot of things contributed to me picking msc biomedical science so it was not just about oh i love the course which i actually do like my microbiology but my teachers were amazing there were other factors also that actually led me to pick medical microbiology believe it or not i also had other other things that actually pushed me there so i was like okay in a different country in a different city with new equipment new teachers will i still pick medical microbiology again as i'm going for MSc biomedical science we're going through or we're going through immunology and hematology we're going through genomics we're going through pathology will i still pick microbiology will i still love or like microbiology the way i loved it in my undergrad so that was one thing i thought about and i was like you know what this is it i'm going to give myself an opportunity to learn and see if i'll choose medical microbiology again now i'm still under the learning part the last time I did anything that was not medical microbiology solely was in 400 level. So after 400 level, for my 500 level, sorry, I saw something falling. For my 500 level, I literally just did medical microbiology alone. Everything chemistry, hematology, um, histopathology, histo, histo was just the worst. Like I just shelved it to the back of my head, literally shelved it to the back of my head. And one thing that came to play during my NY service year was that I remember I had to do something about a manual, like I think WBC count or full block count. And I, I was clueless. I, I had an idea, but I couldn't. I couldn't say. I had to start calling someone like, oh, I had to call an hematology major at that point in time, and it just made me realize that okay, as as much as you're a microbiologist or you specialize there, on my degree is actually a med lab scientist. It's not like the called me a medical microbiology so it just made me realize that okay 
I really just shut my mind towards other specialties. I just faced micro square, like square, which um, I just said, okay, now let me give myself. There are new technologies, there are new opportunities, there are new areas in other courses. Now, apart from micro, like when it comes to chemistry, automation has gone far and wide. Even in micro, there's not automation, like even things like urinalysis, like um, sensitivity, there's actually automation in micro, but not as heavy as other areas. And like the advent of new process, new procedures. And I just wanted to give myself an opportunity to, to learn this again. I didn't just want to basically streamline myself just to micro and say, okay, you know, it's micro or nothing. I just wanted to give myself to learn like new things. Right now I'm learning about immuno like I never knew that immunology and hematology was all together. Okay, yeah, at I, I couldn't picture it together because usually immunology is always with either micro or chemistry. I don't know why. I don't know why I felt it was like that. And seeing the immunologies into different ways there's genomics in my genomics class i'm being taught coding like like they are codes it is mind-blowing if you actually allow yourself i know at the end of the day you have to pick an area but sometimes it's actually also great uh, a good opportunity to actually open yourself to see things around genomics is awesome there's bioinformatics there's See, I'm never not going to those details yet, even though this video will be long. So basically giving myself to an opportunity to learn again. My next point is masters is more of an independent study. I remember talking to people before I chose this course and I was like, oh, this was what I wanted to do. But well, I'm also confused about, about medical science. I want to go into micro. And person someone asked me, why do you want to go into micro? And I was like, um, I want to learn learn more things. So like learn what? Let's be specific. Learn what? Do you want to learn a new organism or are you trying to learn a new way of doing sensitivity or what exactly do you want to learn? And I think at the back of my mind, sorry at the back of my mind, I felt like maybe there was like a whole new syllabus that I'd never been taught that I was going to be taught during my master's year. And this was like, no, it's an independent study as much as oh you're going to have class you're going to have lectures is 90 percent of the coursework or the assessment is based on you independent study nobody's going to give you an exam and say oh in lecture five under this tell me the definition and all those kind of things no like basically one of my one of my courses right now my assessment is based on reviewing two critical uh, like two articles two primary source articles like experiments people have worked on that is my assessment. I go to class to learn about how to write to this assessment, but it's not like they are telling me anything. Everybody's like totally choosing different topics in their area of specialty. So it's not like, oh, it's what they teach you in class that you're going to write. It's basically what they teach you in class that you apply to your assessment. So it's more of an independent study, like literally independent. It's not like somebody's coming to teach you one mysterious thing you never heard about that that was just in like literally is not that it's an independent study masters is like i feel like masters is 80 percent critical thinking and writing than learning like it's basically critical thinking and practice about how much you can understand what you're reading and how much you can put it out it's not about oh i'm learning these things and i'll just write it out to prove that i was in your class and i was listening kind of thing it's not like that. It's not like exams, the way we do exams in Nigeria. It's not like that. Trust me, it's not like that. So basically, the lectures are just it for your final assessment. It's just that the only difference right now is that you have more resources at your fingerprints. Like, more resources, better resources than we've ever been exposed to. So more resources, more exposure, and you can actually see more applications of these things to actually apply to your new field or to whatever field you finally find interesting a person transmit i just realized i skipped my point number two so i tell not point number three and point number four but i skipped point number two so i'm going back to point number two because it was very important also so from my research i found out that you know i didn't know where i wanted to go to i didn't know whether i want to go into academics or whether i wanted to go into research but I wanted to give myself an opportunity to choose the to have the best of both worlds. So I went into I did research on professors who were either in academics 
or people who are actually doing research or working in research labs i went on linkedin i went on google scholar and tried to find out about their academic background to be sure oh did they do an a bsc in biomedical science and msc in maybe chemical pathology and msc in this one and then i found out that majority of them actually probably just did an undergrad degree maybe biology chemistry physics like those kind of science courses and they necessarily did not do biomedical science you could go check this out for yourself most people who are professors of cancer immunology some could have even be done veterinary medicine in their undergrad and now they are professors in immunology or professors in cancer like basically that kind of thing it's what differentiated them was not what they did in their background or what their masters was it, as far as it was in line, it, as far as it wasn't streamlined to biomed, it, as far as it was in line with the science field or the science field in general. So what distinguished them was the research they did. So whatever research they did, imagine I did a, B, uh, a undergrad degree in biology, then masters I did something related to cancer and biology, and then I just did the research in finding uh, what are the immune responses in women with cancer at a particular word. And then I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And then they start doing more research and more articles on immunology in cancer, like immune, like immune system response in cancer, those kind of things. And before you know it, that is their research interest. That is where they narrowed out. That is where they decide to specialize. So their research interest was important. And if you check out most of the professors' um, biograph or when they talk about them, they always tell you their position or what they are doing and their research interests before their academic history. They will, most people will, most websites or whether scholar websites, um, schools websites, they will not put their academic stuff before their research. They will always put research interest, then academic history or academic qualifications basically. So I found out that it's not really about whether you do MSc medical microbiology phd medical microbiology it's great but if you're still not doing a research that makes sense in that field what do you gain basically that was for me and i just felt you know what it doesn't matter whether i do msc biomedical science or msc medical microbiology it still depends on what i start working on when it comes to article or research or like basically that was what was important that was one of the things that was important and as far as i was good at what i do Capish? now my last point um was the fact that outside the course or um outside the course i also considered the school and the location so as much as it was important to say oh i'm going for msc biomedical science or msc medical microbiology i also needed to know that the school i was going to was a good school i wouldn't say it's called people be like what school is that where is that like i really wanted the school to be a good ranking school i wanted it to be based in a good location now when it comes to location i looked at the things about i remember when i was coming here i actually checked job opportunities in manchester like, it was very important to, for me to know that there are job are there job opportunities here um would i go there and i looked at things like um our international students welcome there was one of the one of the schools i wanted to choose i think the school was good on almost on a, all end apart from the location so the location was not really like it was literally like I don't, I don't want to say village village part of uk but school was a great school like it was good that was that was one problem i checked about international students i went through their instagram website i went through their their website i went through videos i wasn't seeing so much on international students like when i mean international students black students like me like people that i know are from nigeria and what whatnot i i know that obviously it's not possible that they won't have one or two or three like a couple but i just wanted a place a community where anything happen. i know that my people are around me i don't necessarily have to know you as a person but trust me it helps it helps ease your mind when you know that there are people that are coming from the same background as you are and they're around you you're not just alone or isolated in a particular environment and i just saw a lot of things about the place the location was not just it for me i felt like if it was located somewhere else i probably would have chosen that school but the location was not it for me i checked for job opportunities and i was in a, i had to go like three hours like places where they had all these their shopping malls and everything 
like busy center where you can get jobs at like two or three uh, two hours away kind of thing and the place was kind of even like i think two hours plus away from manchester so some people even come from that place to manchester to like actually get a job or get jobs during holiday seasons and on i was like and things yeah it ain't gonna work so basically that was one of the things another thing i actually also considered was school fees as much as you're choosing a school if i like everything and the school fees is twenty six thousand. I will not sell my heart or my kidney to go to the school. It's not possible. I needed to know that, oh, financially, I can afford this school. This school will not break my back. You, it's not about, I think I've seen people taking the risks of, oh, they'll say, oh, she be when we get to the UK, you can work and you can work and you can get the money. You can pay off very many school fees. That is one slightly unrealistic expectations people have. I hope to do a video with somebody and we'll talk about that in full or in details. But really, please don't 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 go beyond like don't break the band. If you know that oh without work, ask yourself oh if I don't work or if I work for this period of time, what ask check around people that are in that state where you, or in the city where you're chosen. What is their monthly income? What is I think that was one thing I did. I watched a lot of video of people who are here and I wanted to see how much their monthly income was and their monthly living expense just to get an idea. I think. I spoke to over three people about that. Uh, I was like, oh, this person say I'm any 800. This person say I'm any 1,000. This person, it will give you an idea of what you will roughly get. Now, there are days, obviously, you might be lucky, you might get higher. But always have an idea. Don't just say, oh, when I get here, go to the I'll get 1,5. Let's be realistic. Plan about this thing. Think about it. So that was one of the things I looked out for. School fees. And if you're paying, if you're choosing a school fees, how are you paying the school fees? So they have installments here. Yeah? Don't pick a school that... Or they'll tell you pay two installments, or you have to pay all your full school fees before you come to the school. Those were things I looked out for. Okay, how is the school fees plan like? If I can't pay at this particular point, how does the how what are the plans I can choose? Can I meet up for the school fees payment? Those were the important things I actually looked out for outside the course. So outside the course, how flexible is the school fees plan? I think so. The, these are basically the things for the five reasons or five things I look out for when choosing the course MSc Biomedical Science. Now my last point, my last tip, this is not a point, it's like a tip. It is important do you um, plan well and be critical. So the fact that um, this worked for me or this person chose this school because of this reason is not enough reason. Trust me, I had I had very I had funny reasons why I wanted to choose certain schools. Um, some could be sentiments and all that, but it is important for you not to say, Oh, because this person is choosing school A, or my friend, me and my friend who are playing together, she's choosing school A, I'll choose school A. Think about yourself, what works for you? Like, it is very important. This is just you're going to just spend one year or two years if you're going with a friend or somebody. After one year or two years, you people can look for jobs in the same city if it works out well and get it, but don't make in an important decision don't make an important decision such as you know picking your school or picking where you're going to work for uh, where you're going to school for the next one year based on flimsy excuse of sentiments basically because at the end of the day now you go so far you will be the one yeah you will suffer you know, i will not say you will not say oh i can't pay the school fees and something you are the one that will suffer the brunt of it so whatever you think think well think smart critical critically think about it and most importantly pray about it and that's all i can say for this video thank you very much for watching if you've watched this far if you have things you would like to ask me you want me to make videos on please do well to put them down in the comment section in the comment section down below things about med lab things about survival because <laughs> survival mode is is real here yeah, but I will most likely do a video. I'll see subsequently. I'll do more videos, push out more videos. I'm trying to be consistent in this to help a sister. But if you want me to do a video about something, put it down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you've not. Thank you very much for watching. Stay happy, stay 